Our top story tonight, a wrong way driver on Interstate 85 in the upstate, the second in less than three weeks. News 13's Darren Patello has been following this story, and he joins us now live from our Greenville News Center. And Darren, how bad was this one? Tammy, no fatalities, but the wrong way driver from this morning remains at Greenville Memorial Hospital. And this is the second wrong way accident in just less than three weeks. So residents down here are concerned there's a new and deadly trend. Wrong way accidents, both on Interstate 85 in Spartanburg County and just several weeks apart. It's just like hitting a tree. Deborah Harvey's a nurse with over three decades of experience with wrong way collisions. You'll have broken legs, internal injuries, head trauma, um, and every crash is different. South Carolina Highway Patrol says Tommy Campbell of Williamston was under the influence and hit a tractor trailer near southbound exit 57 around 4 this morning. Campbell had only injuries, but it could have been worse. Four people were killed in a wrong way driver accident on the same stretch of road last month. When you go back and look, we've not had a large number of those. It's just uh, ironic that we had two back to back. Um, I don't think it's something that people should be worried about. So you're driving down the highway and all of a sudden headlights start coming towards you. What do you do? State Highway Patrol says to immediately pull over to the right side of the road. You've got much more avenue of escape under normal circumstances. Um, as I was saying, if you go to the left, there's a likelihood you may hit a center median divider. Harvey says it's been her experience those who did turn right had less severe injuries and a greater chance of survival. Absolutely. It's all about defensive driving. You know, being aware of your surroundings. Um, yeah, you see somebody coming. I'd rather ditch my car and have some damage there than killing myself. State Highway Patrol says Campbell has not been booked, but he has been charged with driving under the influence. Now, as for the accident last month, we're still waiting to find out from toxicology reports whether or not alcohol was a factor. Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Botello, News 13.